race car sound. Trey? What's up, guys? What's up, Trey? How we doing? Doing good. <sighs> Dude, I'm stoked. Today, we're moving right along, bro. I've got a really epic seat for this thing, which I don't think anybody's seen yet, have they? Let me grab it. Check this thing out. It's a poly racing seat from Jegs. This thing's, I mean, light. Yeah. Compared to the full padded buckets. And we're gonna end up putting a leather uh, insert in it. Yeah. And then I got uh, Bridget and some of our other uh, smaller friends were complaining that our pedals are too far away and we don't have the right adjustability in our seats. So I went out of my way to pick up this uh, seat slider off Amazon. Now, if you look closely, you will see that there has been some serious modification made to this thing. I had to rebend it and cut it and there's a lot going on here. So I'm not gonna sell you on this as a plug and play solution, but I think it's gonna work. Goal for today is basically, I've got some pieces of pipe cut. We're gonna weld them in, drill some holes, get this thing mounted. And then uh, we also got something else that I'm pretty excited about. Our tires came in, bro. And they are so sick. They're loaded up in the wrecks right now. We'll go and uh, pay my buddy Pablo a visit and get those things mounted up, which will be sweet. But nice. by the end of the day, dude, we're gonna be sitting in this thing on the floor, tires mocked up, and have a pretty good feeling for what it's gonna be like to actually you know, sit in this thing and drive it. Yeah. First order of business is uh, we'll get those seat rails mounted in, these remaining extra pieces. This was a passenger like foot rest. These were our old shock mounts, which I'm gonna cut off. And this was the old steering mount. So all that's gonna go today. And uh, we're just gonna keep inching closer to uh, getting this thing done, man. You wanna get into it? Let's get into it. Yeah, let's go. So I got these bad boys pre-cut Rachel Ray style for y'all. And these nice. are going to be what our seats um, mount into. Fit up reasonably okay. Yeah, that's well done. So these are gonna go in here and the whole purpose is so that I've got something solid to mount our seat to. So these are gonna get welded in. Now we love our angle grinders and I use my flap discs usually to try to take, get rid of the powder coat where we need to weld. Yeah. Get a good look at this tray. This is me doing my best with a, you know, 60 grit flap wheel. It's almost impossible to not chew it up pretty good. But after last video, Big Bob and I went hard with the little drill mounted uh, wire wheels. Yeah. I was like, this is great, but they're impossible to hold on to. They're too small, it's not enough power. So, picked up this. Bruh. Grab this little guy. This is a six amp Craftsman uh, angle grinder. So it's a little bit more power than we're used to having. But the big key is this wire wheel on here. Yeah. Because this allows me to take off material and instead of it looking all beat up like this, come over here, Trey, get a look at that. Just the powder coat leaves most of the steel. If you're gonna be doing stuff like this, I so highly recommend picking up one of these wire wheels. Yeah, that's night and day. Look at it compared to the old one, the little guy here. That's what we were using on the drill. Yeah. So. 
yeah. that's night and day. Yeah, and the drills don't sound like this. No, no. Oh, you know what's just sick about this? This is just, I just think this is cool. You can also pull the handle out and if you're lefty, you can flip it to the other side, but on this one, you can also put it in the top Wow. In what Trey refers to as the narwhal position. Cause sometimes you want to be in here like this. Yeah. And it's tough, it's in your way. So I like that a lot. This thing's cool. Very cool. Is that a craftsman? This is a craftsman. Okay. Not sponsored. Why? Yet. We're going straight for snap-on. <laughs> but anyways, let's get this thing cleaned up, start tacking it in, we'll drill some holes, we'll get a seat mounted. Nice. Let's do that. Yeah. All right, we got this cleaned up. Let's get these bad boys in place. I think we'll, uh, we'll weld in the back ones, get the holes drilled, make sure everything lines up, and then uh, we'll do the fronts after. you would have been well i was trying to stop you in your tracks because i knew you were struggling with the dimensions it's the easiest template in the world i guess we're just off by an inch in either direction i guess here make make just, a template just make a freaking come here try just make <laughs> get the other camera big bob was right this time I should have made a template. It wasn't an easy measuring job. And no, I was you, just a little funky. I was just off by a little bit. I'm not sure why. Yeah. I wonder if I measured the wrong things or what I did, but. But this was a very, this was a template application. What are you saying? I think I'm taking over this build. <laughs> Whatever guys, it's fine. Well, at this point, honestly, I think we just, we center it with the marker bowl. Yeah, exactly. So, so, I think you did your geometry wrong, Bob. I did, I'll weld the hole shut, it's fine. Idiot, Bob. One more time.
it's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not perfect. Um, there should be another set of holes on there, and we might be able to take up another inch. Oh, there is another set of holes, yes. <laughs> it, it might be worth stretching this frame a little bit. The way you're sitting in there, I think we have to, because your gas pedals can't be way out here. Well, I'm gonna do the A-arms a little different in the front okay. than I have in the past, and so I'm, I'm gonna be able to have a little bit more space, but I kind of wanted to redo the nose of this thing anyways to make it look a little more cross-cart. So maybe that's what we'll do. Something to think about, but so far I'm happy with the seating position. Yeah, we don't have any more room back there, so we're gonna have to make some up front. But I think so. Yeah. For another day. Yeah. Dude, this thing's looking sick. I think next step is we'll get this thing off the horses, put it on the ground, and we can get a really good sense of how this thing's gonna sit. Yeah. Mm. Sounds yeah. good. Yo, Pablo just hit me up. Let's go get those tires mounted, bro, and we can get a full mock-up of this thing by the end. That'd be oh, tight. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, boy. We'll be back. All right, see you guys. Yo, this, this isn't Firestone. Yeah, dude, little uh, little pit stop. This is important, though. Just in case. <laughs> and and I got a backup because I couldn't find the fruit punch oh, shit. <laughs> You're gonna be buzzing, dog. What's up, Paula? This is my buddy Trey. Trey, nice to meet you. That's my cameraman. This is my B camera and girlfriend Bridget. Hi. This is Pablo. They've heard a lot about you. Yeah. <laughs> Just for that. Hey. Yeah, buddy. I love stickers. Oh, it? Yeah. Got you some Tyrannus and yeah. then also Go Power Sports. Oh, that's uh, why they're Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Go Power Sports. <laughs> you got a knife tray? Yeah. Let me see. I got you, Pablo. Don't worry. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. So, this is. So, I used to work at this fire, so that's how I know Pablo. And this is one of the places we brought the paddle tires that uh, you spent, what, like an hour wrestling with those things? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I texted him so meekly. I was like, Pablo. <laughs> I was like, buddy, I got some tires for you. You can tell me no after last time, but. <laughs> all made up. Yeah, that was fine. It was so funny. We went in and I was like, yo, see what you can do with these. They're like, man, they really beat them up. I was like, just wait. Then they broke their tire machine. <laughs> I was like, don't you judge Pablo. He did everything he could. All the fans broke on the machine? Huh? Yeah, yeah. It broke all the teeth. They had like plastic teeth or something, they, just, they snapped them all off. B roll time. Yeah, I feel like a monster. And I just hit a monster. I've become your nightmare, slipping in your dreams. I'm the definition of the worst kind of me. Yeah, right. <laughs> huh? Just a big air bomb. <laughs> <laughs>
The real, the real thing this is for is when somebody's in the bathroom, you fill it up and you stick it under the stall and you let it go. It's great. <laughs> That's for the newbies. Yeah. <laughs> Stickers. Oh my god. <laughs> that literally took like probably like three years. Three years, I think. So. Oh my god. Why didn't I think of this? That's awesome. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Still working on it. Yo, um, before we wrap it, you already got the channel, but now you got the yeah. card, bro. Scan that. Oh, scan it. And it goes right to it? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yep. I like that. Let's go pass another one out real quick. One second. Where'd Brad go? Get you out. You gotta get. Uh, you gotta get on these things. Oh, yeah. You've been doing all these tires. It's time to see what they're going <laughs> yeah, at. See yeah, bro. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you the link to the ones that you tried to make. Oh, that was pretty wild, guys. But dude, thank you again. No problem. And uh, yeah, bro. Let's get out of here. For real. Oh, baby. All right. Look at these bad boys. I'm so hyped for these, dude. Look at this thing. They're so naughty. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> That's so cool. Yo, should we get this mocked up? Yeah, let's get it mocked let's up. Let's do that. Trey, you gotta get it from this angle, man. That's a yeah, cool kind of visual. visual. It is a cool visual all the way around, I promise you. So we currently have approximately the track width of a Miata. That's subject to change, but I kind of like it obnoxious, dude. That looks absolutely monstrous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is as far back as the seat will go right now. Oh my God, we're so low. Bro, actually? Why does this feel okay now? This feels okay now. You still have clearance. To yeah. Imagine. Well, the thing that I'm gonna do differently here than our other carts is the A-arms, I think are gonna attach out here, further out so we don't have them pivoting in the middle, which frees up more pedal space for me. Gotcha. And I'm really kind of liking this. Ooh, could you actually, are you gonna have room to extend the floor, which solves your problem? Instead, oh yeah, instead yeah. Of cutting the whole cart? Mm -hmm. And I think I'm gonna do a, um, an aluminum kick plate behind the pedals. So if your feet slide off, they don't go out. Yeah. Which is scary, that happened to me the other day. I wanna fix that on the red cart. But. It's a cool size if you can keep it. Yeah, so steering wheel, like right here. Centered up, mean. 
Got our Tillotson 225. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Now, today would have been very simple if I was a selfish boy, but I'm not. And sometimes small people want to drive the things that we build. And so we've made our seat adjustable ish. All right, Bridget, you're small. Get in there. Yeah! Oh, that's perfect. So that's as far forward as it'll go. So we can accommodate you and Asher now. Yeah. She buys her shoes at Build-A-Bear, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, wild. We can build a cage now. Not this episode, but that's pretty much next. I'll forget about the cage. It's gonna yeah. be sicker looking. Build a cage, get you a steering wheel. Hey, stay right here. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> Now make some race course car sound. Brat. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so good. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bridget is our new unit of measure yeah. for when things need to fit small people. Don't break your legs. Sorry. All right, man. I think that's it for this one. I think that's it, dude. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit those notifications. Oh yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>